give me it. All right, let's see if you can break it. But don't forget, I get half. That's not the way to do it. Let me show you. Hey, will you let me try? Watch. <laughs> on me only this morning. Purest Chinese silk, I thought so. I kicked him out before he bankrupts me. You just arrived in San Francisco? Yes. You are looking for a job? Yes. Oh, I can give you one. Depends what the job is. It's the laundry, can't you see? It's nice, easy work, ironing shirts, one dollar a week. And why not go and ask over at my sister? She has a restaurant. She needs a man to wash dishes and serve dinner to her customers. Sorry, old man. I've already done that kind of work back home. Now I want to change. Bye-bye. Good for you. As Confucius say, only the stupid and the very wise will not change their ways. Quit pushing me. Just push. Excuse me. Take it easy, will you? Wait your turn. Excuse me. Please, sir. P please, sir. Please, sir. I'd like a ticket to Texas, please. Listen, young fella, it's a wide country, Texas is. Where do you want to go? El Paso, Abilene, Dallas? For me, it's the same. All right. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six. Jimmy, six, get six, down from there. Now, how many times do I have to tell you? Ah, oh, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I got it. All aboard. Wells Fargo stage for Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas is ready to roll. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to Texas. Here's my ticket. Okay, but you ride up there on the top. Why, well, paid like everyone else? You're not like everyone else. No chinks, niggers, or redskins inside. That's the regulations. Take it or leave it, but hurry up. I'm leaving.
Where you wanted to come? There's enough Texas around here to last you a lifetime. But isn't there a town or something? For what you paid, I ain't taking you a mile further. Find a milk costs half a dollar. And how much to cook this? Oh, what else do you need? A basin of water. I'd like to wash up. Water costs money around here. Another half a buck. I told you, look out. He's gonna nail you. That didn't phase old Joe no how. He weren't afraid of nothing. He went outside and planted his feet wide apart in the middle of the street, ready for anything. Folks are yelling out the windows, look out, he's gonna nail you. He didn't pay him no mind. And the sheriff, he comes up to Joe and he says, look out, he's gonna nail you. It's a waste of breath. And Billy the Kid showed up. What'd he do? He nailed him. <laughs> This one, what is it that's yellow and can be squeezed? A lemon. <laughs> no, that chink. And with all that rice he eats, he's constipated to the ear. <laughs> <laughs> you know why Chinamen eat with chopsticks? No, why? Because they're so stupid, they don't even know what a fork is. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, amigo, is it true that a Chinaman always turns pea green when he's real scared? <laughs> I wouldn't know. Personally, I've never been scared. Ah, I think it's about time you had that experience, boy. <laughs> you didn't do that on purpose, I hope, did you? No. 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 Yes, we did. No. Uh, another pint of milk. We finally got rid of the Indians. And now we're up to our ass and chinks. Who does that yellow dog think he is? That chink's beginning to rile me. Mm -hmm. I'd also like a fork. Hey, you yellow dog, I got dirty shoes. And I expect you to clean them. What's the matter with you? I said, come here and clean these shoes, boy. Why don't you get it done by that slut of a sister of yours? Why, you die! Could you tell me how to get to the nearest ranch? 
Sure can. And there's a big one less than three miles from here. Real nice people. Ah, thank you, sir. What's this ringer? Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you how. Oh. Yeah, Stand back, boys. Damn that crosswind! Come on, fellas! Go get him, Red! <laughs> we got visitors. Excuse me, do you people belong to the ranch? We work on a ranch, if you want to know, partner. Well, if you're peddling fancy soap and neckties, uh, we ain't buying. To tell the truth, I'm looking for a job. You mean washing and sewing and things like that? I want to work as a cowboy. <laughs> cowboy! Cowboy chick! I bet you never heard of a Chinese cowboy! Never even seen a cow, have you? Friend, I don't see no horse. Where'd you leave it? I was hoping I could borrow a horse. Then pay you back a little each week out of my daily wages. Might even be I'd give you a horse on credit. If you wasn't a yellow-skinned, slanty-eyed furriner, Instead of a real cow hand. All right, boys, in the saddle. Hey, you cheeky. Wait a minute, boy. A real cowboy is fast and mighty strong, you understand? All right, I'll make you a bet then. If you succeed in doing a couple of things that me and Smitty can do, <laughs> you win a fine horse. Otherwise, you work for the whole bunch of us for two months, okay? Okay. Good! <laughs> See this? You gotta drive it all the way into the head with only one blow of the hammer. Now watch. Way to go, boss! <laughs> That's fine, Great boss. Time, boss. Uh, let's see what you can do. Here you are. I'll bet he matches his finger. The yellow bastard knows he's licked. <laughs> what the hell? What's he up to? Ha! Ah! Did you see that? Some trick and they did it bare-handed. He sure fitted you on that one. China boy ain't one yet. You see that cow pony? Keep your eye on me, because I'll only do this once. Oh, oh. <coughs> well, <laughs> that was great. Oh, yeah. All right, come on, it's your turn now. But you gotta watch it though. He's a, he's a bit nervous. He might send you sailing through the air. <laughs> go on. <laughs> hey, slanty eyes. Watch what you're doing. There's a real horse right behind you. <laughs> 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 Seen the likes of it. You damn cute. So which horse is mine? This joke's gone on a mite too long. Now get out of my way. For me, it wasn't a game. I won and I want my horse. Get off this ranch. All right, you guys, get to work. We lost too much time already. Maybe you don't understand. My horse? You want a horse? Take this instead! Yeah! <laughs> 
Chinese cowboy ain't never been seen around these parts. I never will be, them heathens. Live long and you see everything, Confucius say. Just give me the chance and you'll see the best cowboy in all Texas. All right, then. We'll see how you handle cattle tomorrow. Got to brand a whole herd. And if it turns out you ain't just another dude, I'll give you a job, all right? Now you just get on over to the bunkhouse. The boys will see you get everything you need. Thank you. The old guy must have lost his mind. Uh, he should have sent him to the cookhouse. Where all the wetbacks are. Did you notice how he hangs on to that duffel bag of his? He won't let it out of sight. I'd like to know what's in it. I got a mind to have a look. Uh, could be. He's toting a lot of money around. Here he is. Howdy, Chink. Good evening to you, sir. Hey, how about a little five-card stud? Deal me in. Four ain't enough for stud poker. Hmm, that's the truth. Where are we going to get a fit? I got an idea. Hey, amigo. Ah, you're a pretty brave guy. You know what poker is? So I played during a long voyage. Would you like to play a hand or two? I'm not a rich man. What do you got? Five silver dollars. Well, it's a way to kill time. As long as that's all you're killing. Let's see you, Jack. Not that we don't uh, trust you. I haven't seen your money yet. He's right. Dig it out. High card. Ace deals. Have another pack? What's wrong with this one? The aces are showing through. Well, they ain't made of iron, are they? No wonder they got wore out. Sure, the chink is right. Thank you. Five dollars. I'm in. Me too. I fold. Can you beat three sevens? Very sorry, I have three aces. Obvious. Well, my friends, I'll be saying good night. Oh, no, you don't, Chink. We'll tell you when the game's over. It was agreed this was the last hand. Come here, you. Leave him alone. He's right. We'll get even some other time. Remember, we gotta be in the saddle at dawn. Blast that chink. Sure made 
made us look like shit, Pa. Ma never would have let us forget it. Don't mention that sainted mother of yours. Anyway, he ain't getting away with nothing. ceremony for a new ranch hand. <laughs> I... <laughs> very funny joke. <laughs> By the way, I'm very sorry to disappoint you, but the only money I've got in that bag is the money I won from you. No one else fits a description between Frisco and Kansas City. You mean you're looking for me? Rumors spread like wildfire. Seems like you had a little trouble with the boys over on Ferguson's ranch. Is that right, stranger? They wanted to rob me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's him, all right. <laughs> My God, nothing gets by you, does it? Hey, slander your eyes. No hard feeling, Shanghai. But we had to make sure that you was the chink we was looking for. And now that you know, well, I'm gonna make you a proposition. You wanna be a cowboy, and so I'm offering you a job with the biggest cattle raiser in state. At Stanley Spencer. Fine ranch, all you can eat, and $30 at the end of each month. Why have you come looking for me? Well, you've already earned a real big reputation. And since we're losing a dozen head of cattle to rustlers every day, Mr. Stanley Spencer is always looking for kids that know the score and has got the guts to handle trouble when it comes. Okay? I'm game. Oh, we 
wait here for the others. How come you ain't here already? Uh, you can't depend on them greasers, especially when it's an operation that's kind of touchy. What's the deal? Well, I shouldn't tell you, but now that you're one of us, Mr. Spencer buys beef cattle in Mexico, and it's up to us to bring him into Texas without all that damn foolishness about taxes and customs. Smuggling, in other words. Ah, uh, that I wouldn't know. The important thing is we deliver the merchandise and get paid for it. Ah, here they are. Here comes Billy and Frank. the cattle. Right in front of your eyes. Can't you see him? This here beast only got two legs, so they only cost half as much to feed as the four-legged kind. <laughs> anda! Anda! Vamos! Deprisa! Slaves were a thing of the past in America. What do you mean they're not slaves? Why, those greasers are tickled pink to find work over here instead of staying home starving to death. The boss pays a fair price to the recruiter in Mexico and resells the contract to the southern plantation owner. Nothing illegal about it. Oh, perfectly legal. Ah, the muchachos! Señor Craig, ¿cómo está usted? Muy bien, Jesús. ¿Are they all there? Twenty-eight, tall, strong, healthy men like mules. <laughs> you old crook, Jesús. You found these at the old people's home, I'll bet. Anyway, here's your money. Next time it's higher quality, the deal's off. Gracias, señor Craig. Siembra sus órdenes. Adiós. Anda, anda. Vámonos, muchachos. All right, on your feet, you bastard. Come on, get up and get moving. Check up your feet. Move or I'll brain you. Run, God damn you, run. You'll be sorry. Pass it. Pass it, you stinking grazers. Pick up your feet and run. That's it. Now walk. Walk, God damn, so Mr. Craig can get a good look at the whole ball being bunch of them. Walk, but keep moving. Hey, what's the matter, boy? You getting soft-hearted? They ain't Chinamen. They're men. I just can't think of them as cattle. You'll get used to it. Let's get moving. This ain't a healthy place to hang around for long. Ah! Ah! Keep moving! Keep moving! Soldiers, Mr. Craig! There's a patrol headed this way. That looks like the whole Mexican army. There just ain't no way to get around them, Mr. Craig. We're going to run into them head on. Even if we go up over the pass? They'll get us anyway. All right, you know what you got to do. Soldiers are coming. Run. Don't let them catch us. Run. Calm down. You can't leave a single witness. What are you waiting for? Two 
Straight, for God's sake. Just kill me fast. I didn't shoot. I don't know anything. Why did they try to kill you? It's not the first time it happened. They're afraid that if some peon survives, he'll tell the soldiers who the recruiters are. Help me if you can. to ride? Well, I'll try. Go home and tell them that slavery is far worse than hunger. I know that now. I will tell them. God go with you. But who was it who gave the orders? Come on, talk, or I'll squeeze every drop of blood out of your body. You understand? Please, get down on your knees. You live if you talk. <laughs> the Achilles heel is a marvelous target. That's one more wetback who isn't likely to escape again, right? Give the heathen the same treatment. No, no. For the chink, I plan something real special indeed. My friends, I have the honor of presenting Moloch, 
the black pearl of my breeding farm. Anybody move or I'll kill him. What are you gonna do? Don't move. Kill you, but you're only a rotten mass of flesh. No. I'll pay you whatever you want, but don't hit me again. Please don't. Just tell me how much money you want. Cruelty, brutality, arrogance. What good are they to you now? It's easy to kill people the way you did those three peons, but dying yourself is different, isn't it? I can make you rich. Even an American. American. Your kind of America isn't what I came here for. Your kind of American would break both your legs and leave you to the jackals and to the vultures. Only, I think there's another America which has no room for degenerate scoundrels like you. Peons are actually being sold as slaves. They are brought here with work contracts, paying little money. Only, if they try to run away and are caught, they'll be tortured and murdered. I speak as an eyewitness to the execution of three peons this morning. The man responsible for these horrible crimes is the lawyer, Spencer. Young feller, you realize who Spencer is. You don't know he's been like a father to the poor in this state. He's the number one citizen around here. He's a slave trader. Don't give me this cock and bull story, you. You're not even white. Ah, only whites tell the truth? You yellow bastard. 
Get out of here. And don't let me catch you in these parts again, or I'll run you in for defamation of character. Now hit and play. Well, that's Spencer's filly. You're under arrest for horse stealing. A lousy slant-eyed thief that goes around slandering good folks. I'm gonna lock you up. Stop that man! You bonehead, what kind of a half-assed sheriff are you anyway? What the hell do I pay you for? Maybe to catch chicken thieves? Do you know who that Chinaman is? I know now, but I didn't when he came into my office. I can't trust any of you, though everything I do is for your benefit. Not one of you gives a hoot about my safety. Did I tell you to drink? Don't you know that chink is a menace for all of us? Or are you too stupid to see it? The bastard liberates our peons. Next, he'll be liberating our beef cattle and reporting us to the federal government and maybe even murdering us all in our beds. Or do you think I'm kidding? Give me five of your men, Mr. Spencer. I'll deliver him on a plate. You. He deliver you on a plate with an apple in your mouth, Andy. This calls for a man, a professional gun, not a chicken shit type like you. I suggest the best man to do it is Pedro the Cannibal. That wild man won't stop at anything if he can make a couple of dollars on the deal. Well, say, that's a pretty good idea. And while we're at it, what about Barry and Sam, eh? He kills people just for the fun of planting them. Or Ricky the Gambler. He's quick as a fox. Then there's Scalper Jack. Yeah, if we could just get all four of those guys. I want that quartet. That happy bunch of murderers. I'll promise to pay $5,000 to whoever brings in the chink's head. I mean, we each put in a thousand dollars. you get it? My father gave it to me. The peon you helped. He found it after they caught you. But how did you find out that I was here? The Indians don't talk, but they see everything, and we're friends. But I didn't come just for this. What do you mean? One of the peons ran away from Spencer's ranch and came back to our village. He says they've hired four killers to track you down. You've got to go away, far away. These people are after you. Thanks for coming. I think I will be leaving this place, but not because I'm afraid. Come to us. Up in the mountains, no one will ever find you. Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Hey, cannibal. I bet, I bet you never eat any Chinese meat. Nah. But it must taste like codfish with all that yellow. Uh, but you tell me after, eh? Hey, oh, oh. Sure. Anyway, how do you know the chink is in there? I may have only one eye, but it's a good one. Let's make a little bet. If he's in there, I'm taking that juicy young girl. Listen, you dirty old man. You stay right here and don't move. How is your father? Oh, he's nearly well again, thanks to you. That massacre was horrible. I didn't realize what was going on until too late. They're funny, beautiful, but sometimes they look like blades. And yours are gentle and warm and kind. <laughs> Usually I bust the door. But this was open already. <laughs> Hold it. You see, folks, I got a friend outside. He's really a boy at heart. He'd like to have a couple of words with the senorita. <laughs> uh, 
but he's so timid he sent me to get her. <laughs> What's the best part of a Chinaman? Best part to eat, I mean. <laughs> you tell me which it is. So I won't waste time looking for it. <laughs> He ran away. He'll warn the others. We must get away from here. Don't be afraid. They won't catch us. thought of something. As long as Spencer isn't sure that his men have killed me, he won't dare start the slave trade again. So I must stay, but you can't stay with me. It's too dangerous. Christina. Uh, I'm so tired, I can't keep my eyes open. I saw a sign. There's a town a few miles ahead. We'll spend the night there, and then tomorrow I'll take you to the Mexican border, OK? I like the first part of the plan better than the second. <laughs> Full up. Ah, big tourist trade around here, huh? Oh, I guess I was wrong. There's, there's one room only for the senorita. That will do. And you? I'll sleep in the stable. Good night. Just one glass? Yeah, yeah, I'll get it. Christina? Christina? Christina?
seen the man that runs this place? I've seen a girl. What's it worth to you? Where'd she go? Cost you half a dollar. That away. Listen, if you're lying to me. You don't scare me, mister. I'm used to getting smacked. Don't mean nothing. Chin, Chinaman said, non a picket fence. All right, Mr. Chinaman, you may be dead on that picket fence, but I'm going to shoot another 15 cents. <laughs> It's all over now. That man is dead. It was one of the killers of Spencer's. He says there's $5,000 on your head. 
I didn't know I was worth so much. You've got a raging fever. Take me away. I'm afraid that man will come back. I'm scared. He can't come back. You are safe here. You are safe. I'm going to get a doctor. No. 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 <laughs> Find a doctor. We only got a horse doctor here, but there's a sure enough sawbones over in Wakefield, a couple of miles down the pike. Thank you. <laughs> Give me a sip, honey. Sure. Beat it. <laughs> Wanna go upstairs, Blondie? No, I'd rather be dead. Five bucks, no more. Plenty or nothing? And beat it, fat ass. <laughs> your help. Well, sir, I'm here to tell you I'd be a rich man only one-tenth of what you've got in your pocket. You know why? Oh. I'm gonna tell you because I like your face, stranger. See that dude playing the piano over there? He's rolling in dough and he's got gambling fever. The only thing he ain't got is luck. Seems like money burns holes in his pockets. Last night, they fleeced that poor sucker out of a thousand dollars, and all he did was laugh. <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting a little of that. Sounds like easy money. Arrange it, will you? All right, I'll sound him out if uh, you're willing to ante up for him. Yeah, let's see if we got a game first. You want to get laid, mister? My dear, you're a flatterer. Hmm. He's all yours, Tricky. But start him off nice and easy. Leave it to me. No, no, please, go ahead. These go on your account, Mr. T? Certainly. All right, gentlemen, what do you say? A little stud? Why not? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It knew, eh? Oh, don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. Where can I find a doctor? You need a real one or a vet? It's for a very sick girl. That's out of my line. Holy jumping, Jehoshaphat. According to everybody, you were a born loser. <laughs> Seems incredible even to me. First time in my life that I ever won. I gambled away a fortune already. Luck is like weather, always changing. My losing streak's due back. Andy is 300, fellas. Oh, uh, tricky. Yeah? He's here, the chink that Spencer wants. Looking for a doctor, he says. Bring him around to Dr. Tricky. I'll cure him or kill him. Yeah, sure. Homer! I want the place cleared and closed up. We're closing. Everybody out. Come on, get a move on, gents. I'll open. We're closing up. We're closing, friend. We're closing up Haven't right now, not five minutes. What do you mean from closing? Now? I got a right to get even. Oh, you'll have another chance. A nice fellow like you is always welcome in a game. Cut that shit. I want to get back what I lost. Yes, sir. Three jacks to beat. <laughs> Dump him behind the bar. <laughs> A real Chinaman. Gosh. What's your name? Shanghai Joe. If you're the one that's looking for the doctor, better hurry. He's in the saloon getting blind drunk. And after a couple more drinks, he's the one who's going to need some doctoring. Where's the saloon? Only in the next block. Want me to point it out? Very kind, thank you. We spent the whole night arguing, but he refuses to believe that a woman has just as much right to be satisfied as a man does. Arthur. Okay. Oh! <laughs> 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 
Clever boy, Shanghai. You wouldn't have held up that hand if it was really yours. Now listen to me. I've got a gun. You've got seven lives like a cat. We can make a deal. Go on, I am listening. Spencer will give me $5,000 for your hide. You disappear and I'll convince him you're dead and buried and we'll divvy up. That's a nice clean cut proposition, isn't it? Could be, except that you have a gun. Have, buddy. And now have not. One. That's the other. And so we're even. Are you convinced? Okay, come on out. I'm no saint, but I agree with you that Spencer's got to go. How'd you get that cut? Oh, that? <laughs> it's nothing. A splinter of wood did it when that door was hit by a ricocheted bullet. Thanks for reminding me to take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> I've made up my mind. The West is not for me. I'm going to China with you, son. But I'm not going to China. I like America. Oh, sure. America's a great country. But America's got some of the biggest bastards God ever created. And that's the God's truth. But what are you, Doctor? American, by God. American to my eyeballs. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesty above the fruited plain. Blungeon fever. Cup of water, son. Ah. Open your mouth. Drink it down like a good girl. There we are. <clears throat> now then. Two of these every four hours. And when they're finished, the beaver will be two. <laughs> good night, all. Wait, doctor. What do I owe you? Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. Well, you can pay me the next time, eh? Wait, wait, wait a minute, Doctor. Accept this. It is tea from back home. Tea, eh? Does it mix with bourbon? <laughs> Many thanks. Thank Good you. night, Christina. Get well quick. <laughs> so long. You were gone a long time. Some friends in a saloon, they didn't want to let me go. Jack. Howdy, Sawbone. I'm glad I bumped into you. Yeah, why? Because you're going to tell me where that Chinaman's got to. Tell you what? I don't even know what Chinaman you're talking about. What do you want? You know who I am? Yeah, I know, and I wish I didn't. <laughs> Down on the ground.
All right, Doc. Where's that chink? I don't know, and I wouldn't tell you if I did. <laughs> don't move, or you'll read really again. <laughs> Repay good with good and evil with justice. <laughs>
Well, boy, what are you staring at? You know why I haven't killed you yet? Because it's no fun scalping a dead man. Hold still. Or it'll be even more painful for you. Chinese was wounded in both legs, a bird with broken wings. He lost a lot of blood, gallons of blood, gallons of nice red blood. Yes, I saw it all with my own eyes. He was half gone already when our old friend Jack started peeling that skull like it was an onion. He scalped him then? Oh, well, I guess we all know the weakness of our old friend Jack, eh? He ain't really evil, it's only he's got one little vice. Like me being a great woman chaser. <laughs> you see, <laughs> only someone bald as me ain't in any peril whatsoever hanging around with friend Jack. <laughs> <laughs> By God, that's the best news in a month of Sundays. Pirate, if you'd like a woman right this minute, go find Ramona and tell her she's to do anything you want. Oh, Mr. Spencer, you really mean it? Ramona! <laughs> this package came for you, senor. Who brought it? I don't know, senor. It had been left at the gate. You may go. I'd go easy there. It might even be a bomb. <laughs> oh. No, it's a bit too light. <laughs> that old Jack sent us a little gift. Uh. It's from Jack. But it isn't any present. Uh, disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. It's Jack's scalp. I bet you that Chinese is responsible. Give me four of your best boys, and I'll deliver that chink to you on a platter. You're really a prize idiot. This time, I'll handle it my own way. This means each day the chink is on the loose, I'll execute a peon. I guarantee that the Mexicans themselves will turn him in. Spencer, please, we mustn't squander manpower. I swear by all that's holy, the chink is only human. He knows ancient hand-to-hand -hand tactics. He must be fought with the same age-old weapons, and that requires us to find a man who will fight him on equal terms. Take my word for it, Spencer. There is no other solution. They will never heal until the bullets can be removed. Would you bring me my sack, please? But it will hurt a lot. You won't be able to stand it. There's a way to do such things called acupuncture without hurting, a Chinese science which is thousands of years old. The needles are pushed deep into the flesh to block the nerves. And that means that there is no pain.
No ointment. It halts infection. Very precious. This is the man who will do the job. Name means nothing to me at all. Why is he special? He'll tear the chink to pieces. You won't need a coffin, just a dustpan. But you promised to tell me what the sign represents. Yes, it's the sign of the fire lotus. But it's more than a symbol, it's a way of life. An absolute control of body and the intellect you may reach only after years and years of strenuous training. When I was still only a boy, I was sent to study with the venerable Yang. For many long years, I was put through the most terrible ordeals. I learned how to bear hunger, thirst, pain. My body became flexible as a reed and hard as steel. Then, the ten young men who were promoted were sent to a temple, and I was one of them. We spent three years there, learning what was still to be learned. The secrets of yoga, the age-old methods of self-defense, jealously preserved by the masters and passed on only to a select few. Only two of us got through to the end. The pain your flesh now endures will forever remind you of the oath that you have taken. The law that governs your life will be repay good with good and evil with justice. This law you will hold sacred. These are the daggers of Hue. Dragon swords. And these contain the eternal secret of the fire lotus. You are the only ones to learn it in a hundred years. No one knows your face, and the sign of the lotus is the only way you may recognize each other. With your sacred weapons and with your knowledge, you are invincible. But should you use your gifts to commit an act of injustice or tyranny or for gain, the Lotus will wreak its vengeance wherever you may be. Here's $2,000. The rest you get afterwards. It's one man's word for another. I want Chin Hao's head. and how I was born there.
policías habla. Ah, Cristina, how good to see you. Chin, how this is a friend of mine, Conchita. Hola. This is Conchita's brother. Mucho gusto, senor. <laughs> this is the first time since I've gotten to America that anybody's called me sir. <laughs> <laughs> senor, there is a man waiting for you outside. He is one of your race. You mean he's Chinese? I don't know. What has he come here for? I don't know. Don't come out. Wait for me here. I won't be long. Why are you here? I have not betrayed the law. I, however, have betrayed it, and still I live. You still credit the fairy tales of the master. I am here to kill you.
Heart, Nikoria. At the heart. stay here, if only I could, but my life belongs to the victims of injustice, to my people, to yours. I can't hide. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> 